Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit four, lesson 11, percentage contexts. Problem number one, a car dealership pays $8,350 for a car. They mark up the price by 17.4% to get the retail price. What is the retail price of the car at this dealership? To find the retail price of the car, we need to multiply the price they paid for the car by 17.4%. As a decimal, that's 0.174. So 8,350 times 0.174. That's $1,452.90. This is the amount that the dealership's going to add to the price they paid for the car. $8,350 plus $1,452.90 gives us the retail price of the car, which is $9,802.90. Problem number two. A store has a 20% off sale on pants. With this discount, the price of one pair of pants before tax is $15.20. What was the original price of the pants? We can think of it like this. The original price of the pants minus 20% of the original price of the pants will equal the sale price, $15.20. Let's try D, $19. 10% of $19 is $1.90, so 20% of $19 will be two times greater than $1.90, or $3.80. Since $19 minus $3.80 equals $15.20, we know that the original price of the pants was D, $19. Problem number three. Lynn is shopping for a couch with her dad and hears him ask the salesperson, how much is your commission? The salesperson says that her commission is 5.5% of the selling price. A. How much commission will the salesperson earn by selling a couch for $495? To figure out the salesperson's commission, we need to multiply the price of the couch times 5.5%. Remember, we need to change the percent to a decimal. So we'll multiply 495 by 0 0.055. That'll give us the commission for the salesperson. A commission is an amount of money that a salesperson is paid for selling a product. 5.5% of 495 is 27.225. That can be rounded up to $27.23. That's the commission that the salesperson will be paid. B. How much money will the store get from the sale of the couch? Since the store needs to pay a commission to the salesperson, we need to subtract the commission from the $495. $495 minus $27.23 equals $467.77. That's the amount of money that the store will get from the sale of the couch. Problem number four, from seventh grade unit four, lesson nine. A college student takes out a $7,500 loan from a bank. What will the balance of the loan be after one year, assuming the student hasn't made any payments yet? A. If the bank charges 3.8% interest per year. To figure this one out, we need to multiply 7,500 times 3.8%. Remember, we need to change the percent to a decimal. So we'll multiply 7,500 times 0 0.038. That will equal the amount of interest that they're going to add to the loan after the first year. The interest after the first year will be $285. We need to add that to the amount of the loan, $7,500 plus 285. That will be the total balance of the loan after the first year. With an interest of 3.8% each year, the total balance on the loan after one year will be $7,785. B. If the bank charges 5.3% interest per year. 
This time, it'll be the amount of the loan, 7,500 times 5.3% or 0 0.053. 7,500 times 0 0.053 is $397.50. The interest would be $397.50. Add that to the original loan and we get the balance of the loan at the end of one year with the interest rate of 5.3%. That balance is $7,897.50. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit four, lesson five. Match the situations with the equations. Let's start with situation A. Mai slept for X hours and Kieran slept for one tenth less than that. We could think of X hours as one X hours or 10 tenths X hours and one tenth less than 10 tenths is nine tenths. So we can go with equation y equals 9 tenths x. B. Kieran practiced the piano for x hours and my practice for two fifths less than that. Since two fifths is equal to four tenths, we can look at this as 1x or 10 tenths x. 10 tenths minus four tenths equals six tenths. We can select the matching equation y equals 6 tenths x. C. My drank x ounces of juice and Kieran drank 4 thirds more than that. We can use 1x to represent the x ounces of juice that my drank. 4 thirds is the same as 4 divided by 3. And 4 divided by 3 equals 1.33 repeating. Since Kieran drank four thirds more than my, we can look at this problem as one and a third X or 1.33 X plus one X, which gives us the matching equation Y equals 2.33 X. D, Kieran spent X dollars and my spent one fourth less than that. We're looking for an equation where Y equals one fourth less than X. Since 4 fourths minus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths, and 3 fourths or 3 divided by 4 equals 75 hundredths, then we can go with equation y equals 0.75x, or y equals 75 hundredths x. E. My ate x grams of almonds, and Kieran ate 1.5 times more than that. We're looking for an equation where y equals 1.5 times more than x. So 1x plus 1.5x. 1x plus 1.5x equals 2.5x. The matching equation is y equals 2.5x. Kieran collected x pounds of recycling and my collected 3 tenths less than that. Kieran collected X pounds, or 1 X pounds, or 10 tenths X pounds. And my collected 3 tenths less than that. 10 tenths minus 3 tenths equals 7 tenths. The matching equation is Y equals 7 tenths X. G. My walked X kilometers, and Kieran walked 3 eighths more than that. 3 eighths or 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.375. This means that Kieran walked 0 0.375 more than my. 1x represents my and 0 0.375x represents Kieran. 0 0.375x plus 1x equals 1.375x. The matching equation is y equals 1.375x. H. Kieran completed x puzzles and my completed three-fifths more than that. Remember, three-fifths is equivalent to six-tenths. So my completed six-tenths more than Kieran and Kieran completed x or 1x. Six-tenths x more than 1x is 1 and 6 tenths x, or 1.6x. 
The matching equation is y equals 1.6x. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.